Speaking about Coinbase, we are aware of how serious things are. The current state of the cryptocurrency market is insane, with bulls and bears engaged in a fierce tug of war. The timing of the recently approved Ethereum ETF couldn't be worse. Investors in Shiba Inu are alarmed by the chaotic situation and believe there's only one way to save their investments. However, let me clarify. In recent times, Shiba Inu's price performance has been anything but bullish. The asset has struggled mightily, unable to maintain its ground above the local support level. The exodus of Wales, which indicates that the market isn't yet ready for a growth phase, highlights this slump. This is terrible news for the Shiba Inu community, which has been hoping for a rebound, further compounding the intricacy of the problem. Unexpectedly, the approval of an Ethereum ETF recently caused a huge flurry of excitement in the cryptocurrency market. This excitement was well-founded because the approval of the ETF represented a key milestone. Wales unexpectedly expressed interest in Shiba Inu and tried to drive its price higher, but despite this brief boost, Shiba Inu has struggled to maintain momentum, highlighting the difficulties it faces in the current market environment. Shiba Inu has recently given way to strong selling pressure, which has driven its price below important support areas. This decline demonstrates how it failed to maintain its position above a key threshold, and at the same time, there has been a noticeable decline in large transactions, suggesting a decline in activity from major holders. These factors together provide a challenging picture for Shiba Inu's market. Presence, for example, there were 341 large transactions last week but only 82 in the last 24 hours. This sharp decline suggests that big holders or whales are cutting back on their positions, weakening the buying pressure required to sustain higher prices. Although 82 large transactions is not zero, it is still four times fewer than what we saw at the peak, the difference is noticeable and difficult to ignore. Meanwhile, the volume of large transactions in the last 24 hours was 3.36 trillion Shiba Inu, compared to a peak of 5.7 trillion Shiba Inu over the previous week. This shows a slight relief in the activity of big holders but it still suggests ongoing bearish pressure. Growth It's a puzzling turn of events that even though the Ethereum ETFs were approved, trading hasn't started yet. This process involves several steps including setting up the ETF, ensuring regulatory compliance, and preparing the market infrastructure for trading until these preparations are complete and trading officially. The Ethereum ETF was approved just two days ago, which should have sparked excitement in the market. Where is that excitement now? Why did the Shiba Inu price plummet so suddenly despite this positive news? Begins the full effect of the ETF approval won't be realized in the market, which might account for why the euphoria hasn't immediately resulted in favorable price action for Shiba Inu. Many people were thinking this, but they seem to be missing something crucial. Now, do you recall that Grayscale was the ones that dumped hundreds of millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin immediately following the approval of the Bitcoin ETF, resulting in numerous market crashes? This is an analysis Grayscale investors were able to purchase Bitcoin at a reduced cost in early 2023, with the discount averaging 48%. Because of this substantial discount, many investors sold their Bitcoin as soon as they could. After Bitcoin was transformed into an ETF, investors were able to purchase Ethereum at an even greater discount, nearly 60% in the early months of 2023, thanks to the Ethereum ETF. Significant savings since buying at a discount allows investors to sell their investments at market value and lock in significant gains. Many Ethereum ETF investors are likely to sell and take profits once ETF trading goes live. This could indicate that whales are currently reluctant to invest because they believe prices will drop even further, but that is only the tip of the iceberg. We already have Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs trading in Hong Kong, and we can observe the differences in flows there. This approach is clever because it allows us to analyze existing data to predict future trends currently, Hong Kong Bitcoin ETFs have. Observed total inflows of $15 million, but Ethereum ETFs have only received a total of $17 million, or about 16% of Bitcoin inflows. Furthermore, the largest U.S. derivatives marketplace has $10 billion in open interest in Bitcoin but just $1 billion in Ethereum. 
This indicates that only 11% of the interest is in Ethereum, suggesting that the majority of investors are centered on Bitcoin rather than Ether. This difference shows that, despite great expectations, Ethereum's volume has not kept up with that of Bitcoin. If you were a whale, would you join in a market where actual performance is so inconsistent with expectations that it defies logic? This mismatch may be the reason why prices are declining and whales are not exhibiting interest. Large investors' present lack of investment may be explained by this cautious approach, but Shiba Inu is facing more challenges than only the startling revelation of the Ethereum ETF, Coinbase is involved. People went into a frenzy when it was revealed that Coinbase had started offering Shiba Inu futures to its institutional clients outside of the US. To put it into perspective, imagine you've been using a service for a while believing you have access to all of its features then suddenly you find out that some features were only available to certain users leaving you feeling left out or unfairly treated. People seem unhappy about this discovery because they feel misled or excluded from features they thought were available. However, it appears that Coinbase had been restricting some of its users from accessing certain features. This discovery led to some individuals spreading negativity towards Coinbase. Available to every user it calls into question the fairness and transparency of how sites like Coinbase function, which irritates and depresses users. Coinbase probably disabled this feature because of regulatory concerns. Investors who engage in leverage trading particularly in the cryptocurrency market, run the risk of suffering major losses. Regulators frequently implement limits to shield consumers from potential harm by restricting access to features associated with leverage trading. Coinbase might be following legal requirements to guarantee compliance and reduce the risks connected with high-risk trading. Practices, and this is the point at which the dispute heats up. It's interesting how regulators occasionally prohibit leverage trading while permitting activities like gambling that may be viewed as dangerous or speculative. This disparity calls into question regulatory priorities and risk assessments. Leverage trading, in contrast to gambling, happens within financial markets and can have wider economic ramifications. Some may contend that both types of trading entail speculative conduct and can result in large financial losses. Beyond the ethical losses incurred by individual investors, some may find it perplexing that regulators allow certain activities like gambling but prohibit leverage trading. They may contend that both involve high levels of risk-taking and have the potential to negatively impact both individuals and society at large. Regulatory measures can be viewed as unethical because they may favor some actions over others without providing a clear rationale or taking into account any potential repercussions. Nevertheless, the announcement that Coinbase would be permitting this new functionality caused the volume of Shiba Inus to increase by 51%. This noteworthy rise suggests a big increase in trade activity related to Shiba Inu. But given the general market uncertainty that has followed the Ethereum ETF situation, some people may be feeling overextended and unsure of what to expect next. This uncertainty can cause panic and make people reluctant to trade leading them to pull back and wait for more clear signals before making another investment. What are your thoughts on that? Please leave a comment below. We're excited to hear your thoughts. If you're interested in learning more, click on one of the videos that appears on the screen. That brings this video to a conclusion. In order to help me with the YouTube algorithm, if you like the video, please like it and don't forget to leave a comment. You can also help spread the word about this story by sharing it with as many people as you can.